Hey guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. So there is a good reason I'm sitting on my bedroom floor um, talking to you right now, and that is because I'm doing an unboxing for like, I think the first time ever. I think I've only done one ever haul, and this is definitely my first unboxing, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I always love these unboxings. I will zip on through it and then later on I'm going to go down and ride Jack and Fiona so stay tuned for that for sure. So I will show you the box. It is quite large and quite heavy so there, this is the reason I'm on the floor because I actually just... Sorry. I have no idea what's in this. Um, it is a Christmas present from Mackie who are my sponsors. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's in it. They said I could ask for certain things if I needed something and I genuinely didn't need anything because they are already so generous. <laughs> I was like, hmm, guys, you don't actually need to give me anything. Um, so yes, I'm very, very excited. I'm going to open it now. Also, they wrote Happy Christmas and drew like a little like holly on it, the front, and that just makes me really, really happy. <laughs> It is open. So the first thing I got is some bubble wrap. You know, it has um, it's actually a really fancy brand. It's called Sealed Air. So the first thing is actually um, a bridle, and it is the same bridle that I have, um, but it's in black and it's in cob because it's actually for my friend. <laughs> so I'm not really going to show you that. But yeah, I just love their bridles so much, and for my friend for Christmas she knows I'm giving it to her so it's not exactly a giveaway <laughs> like a, I'm not exactly being uh, like revealing her Christmas present but I just thought I'd get her that because she's a really really cool friend and a really nice roommate so first up is these lun oh it's a lunging aid so it's these lunging aids that you use you can actually see the photo because there's a sticker over it but um, I'll insert photos of everything after, like I'll insert them in now so you can see a bit better. But it's a lunging aid that attaches to the bit and then goes under their, between their front legs and then over their withers. Um, I've seen loads of people use these. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give them a go. Yeah, it's like this really soft rope. Oh, I will definitely find use for this. Okay, I'm not sure why there's two. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to read the instructions because I don't know how this works. <laughs> <laughs> so next is this little um, teddy <laughs> and this one is called Hand of the Horse and there's all different animals and obviously I got the horse that is so cute. I'm going to put this on my, on my key ring. So next is some new brushes. I actually have these same, um, this brand, uh, it's the, the Haas brushes and they are just like next level brushes. Um, yeah. They're like the fanciest brushes I've ever used and they're so nice and they, yeah, they make your horse extremely clean. And there's two, there's one here, this one has, I think it's either, I think it's copper in it and it's meant to be antibacterial, so pretty cool. And this is one for washing. And this is just a uh, plastic curry comb. And also this, which I'm not sure, that's the brand, um, I don't know if this is like meant to be for grooming them, like do you like pat them down, is it for dust, I'm not sure. <laughs> so these are, I think they're candle, are they, I'm not sure if it's a candle holder or a glass. But I am definitely bringing these to college. <laughs> these are going to be my new glasses for drinking at college because they are just the cutest things ever and I love unicorns. <laughs> so of course the horses couldn't feel left out so there is some stud muffins for them. The horses adore these like so much. They love them. Mackie has sent these in boxes before and yes they are obsessed. They always fight over them. <laughs> So I have a good big bag now, so they will all get some. Next up is um, some... Ooh, 
They're like boat shoes. I used to always wear these to school, like they were my school shoes. And they are so cute. Oh, I really like the brown. I used to always have them in black when I was younger and I think I really like the brown a lot more. Oh, they're very nice. They're very, very nice. Alright, I'm just going to try it on right now. Oops. They fit. <laughs> oh my god. This is just the funniest thing ever. <laughs> it's pasta. But it's in the shape of a horse. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> I can't. That is so funny. And this is like a tack brand that have done this. Oh, that is so good. Okay, this is also going to college with me and I'm making pasta, horse pasta, every single night for the rest of my life. So I'm not, okay. There's a, a selection of things. Oh, some natural horse treats. Leovetis? I'm not sure what country these are. Mangoes, carrots and honey flavoured. That is interesting for a horse. So these ones are called Tummy Tickler. Orange and Oat Flakes. That is cool. And there's one more. This is Apples and Sallow Thorn. Never heard of Sallow Thorn. And they're made in Germany. Radio. So this is another Leo Vet um, product and it is the Stain Eraser Spray. So yeah, removes yellow stains, enhances natural white, protection for several days. We also have Leather Foam. So it's a foam or a leather cleaner. It has antioxidants to preserve and protect. God, I've never seen like a foam for... <laughs> I'm just gonna spray this in here because that makes perfect sense. All right, so it's like a foam. Oh, it smells, it smells quite strong. Nice. This is tea tree grooming lo lotion, lotion, lotion contains natural tea tree oil. Hmm. So if your horse has sensitive skin or sweet itch, this one is apparently good for it. Tea tree is very nice and soothing for their coat, so. Oh, Cal actually does get quite a, like a little bit of just kind of itching a bit in summer. Not even summer actually, I think it's autumn usually. So I'm going to try this on him and see if that helps at all. The only ingredients is tea tree oil and glycerin, so you know it doesn't have a load of rubbish in it anyway. Oh, and it's not actually a... I thought it was a shampoo, but it's not. You just apply once or twice daily, spread thinly and briefly massage into the skin or coat areas. So it's not like a shampoo that you rinse off or whatever, it just stays on the coat, that's cool. This is Silver Salve. Contains pure silver. So it's basically for cuts and if a horse gets mud rash or anything, it says it's good for that. Doesn't really smell like anything, it's very neutral. It's kind of like, it looks a bit like pseudocreme. You can't see it. Mm. Oh, detangler. You can't go wrong with a good detangler, especially with Fiona's tail, it is so thick. Oh my god, it is so hard to groom. I'm very glad I have that. Here's some oil soap. I just want to open everything. Oh my god. It's really like jelly. That is so funny. Oh. I don't know why, I just want to sniff everything. It doesn't matter what it smells like and I still need to know. All right. Now, this is Power Shampoo. It's for pale horses. Oh, it's for pale horses because it has UV protection. That's actually really cool. So yeah, if you live in very sunny places, not quite Ireland at the moment, it's currently raining outside, but during the summer, 
<laughs> or if you had like a Cremello or Palomino horse, that could be, that could be nice. This one is stain eraser shampoo for grey horses. So it removes yellow stains, enhances natural white. And the very last thing is power shampoo for dark hair. So that'll be for my horses. They are all pretty dark, um, bays and chestnuts. So that'll be a nice one. It's like a really nice rich colour. So hopefully I'll make them look really, really nice. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that little mini unboxing and yeah, I'm going to get changed now because I actually have my pajamas on, like on my bottoms. I just look like I'm kind of dressed. I'm actually not. Um, I'm going to get dressed and go down and do the horses now. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm down the yard now. Um, I'm just going to be lunging Jack. I'm feeling in a bit weird kind of mood, so I think I'm just going to lunge him and leave Fiona off. She was so good yesterday and... You know when you're not feeling 100% and then you don't want to like take it out, like if I ride, I don't want that to kind of like transfer to her and for her not to go well. Anyway, yeah, I'm just feeling like really weird. So I'm just going to lunge him and I don't think he's ever done the raised trotting poles, so that'll be interesting. I'm going to use the roller if it fits and instead of the saddle and yeah, we will go get him now and I have all the treats so I'm going to use them and see which one he likes the most. Um, pretty confident that he will eat any of them because he is the most food oriented horse I know. Little Mr. Jacko. How good does this bridle look on him? He looks so cute. This is my favorite bridle in the world. It's the Mackie Legend one. It's just so soft and nice. Good boy. So this roller is super cool because it has a lot of like on the packaging. And I think that's just the coolest thing ever. So if you guys buy one of these, it's gonna have well back on it. So Jack is all ready to go lunging. I'm using the same setup as I did in my previous video. So if you want to know anything about it, then go watch that one because I explain it in really like a lot more detail. How is he just not the cutest pony you've ever seen in your life? He's so cute. Very good. So I think I'm going to give Jack these ones because they say they have energy in them and he is a little bit of a lazy fatty. Hello. Do you want one of these? He doesn't even have to smile. I'm just giving it to you. Take it. Good boy. <laughs> Do you like that one? Oh, I think he said yes. Yeah, good one. Another one. Did you get that one? Oh, you got it. Very good boy. Two more. Oh, I think he likes them a lot. So tomorrow I'm going to be jumping Jack. Maybe I could do like a little bit of a 
a little bit of a high jump. He's not super fit, so I don't think we'll get the best of the best out of him. But I feel like we we'll get a good jump out of him. So maybe I'll do maybe I'll do a bit of a high jump or something. Um, that could be fun. If you want to see that, then let me know. Um, and other than that, yeah, this is it. The vlog is over. I'm gonna head back up to the house now and chill out, I think. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.